I'm Dhwani Talati Padiyar. I head the ESG and Sustainability Consultancy for CBRE India. Uh, CBRE is the world's largest uh, real estate services and investment firm. Uh, as part of ESG and Sustainability, we offer a plethora of uh, services starting from reporting and data collection to analyzing and all the way into actually implementing across ESG. Uh, it's very exciting to be here to see uh, so many entrepreneurs and to see so many fresh ideas uh, and to actually make sense of the chaos uh, that's around uh, the world, uh, not necessarily just with ESG, but so many new ideas brimming up. So very excited to be here. Thank you. So I think in terms of the challenge, there are the two parts to it. Um, this one that's a mindset and the other, which is the data. We need to first create the will for it. Uh, I wouldn't say create the will, but we really need to focus on the will, the mindset, uh, to make it a top-down approach. The other is to have enough data to make it more relevant and customized to the sector, to the industry that we are um, uh, trying to cater to. Having said that, uh, traditionally money was the largest um, uh, hurdle. We're no longer in that decade now where uh, whether it's justified to uh, put in money in the sustainability business. It's, it's a mandatory requirement. Uh, we are looking at sustainability in a, in a more holistic manner in how we try and address the climate crisis, the entire post-COVID uh, social aspect of how we interact, how we behave with the buildings, with the built environment, uh, and the entire transparency in the governance model. So I think ESG has become more, as, is becoming more way of life rather than, um, uh, you know, do we have to invest money into looking at ESG as a separate layer of uh, implementation.